Hi, I'm David with Frogfish Fins. I'm an outdoor enthusiast who a few years ago, while riding a stand-up paddleboard down a river with friends, came up with a great idea for a retractable fin. Before we get into more detail about the fin, let me tell you a bit more about where we will be paddling. For this video, we'll be paddling in South Puget Sound in the state of Washington. I stayed there for a few days and found it to be absolutely stunning with tons of bays and estuaries to explore. Most people who ride SUP head out into deeper water to keep from hitting the bottom. Not me. My goal is to stay in as shallow water as possible, no more than 30 feet from shore. This is where all the cool stuff is. When standing on the board, it's easy to see down into the water and see the rocks, fish, and other creatures. This is what I love about Frogfish Fin. I can paddle way up inside estuaries, creeks, coves, and bays that others shy away from. The way I see it, this is where all the cool stuff can be found. Here is an underwater shot of the fin in action. I'm paddling through about 8 to 10 inches of water. The fin is hitting bottom and pivoting up out of the way, allowing me to keep moving. No sudden stops with this fin. Another benefit of our fin we quickly discovered was how much easier it was to beach launch and also exit the water. Beach launching can be done either front first or rear first. With some practice, you can even keep your feet from getting wet. As I paddled up further into the estuary, I came across some underwater logs. These can be nasty to hit with a typical rigid fin. The board stops abruptly and the paddler falls to their knees or even all the way into the water. Not to mention the damage it can cause to the fin, fin box, or board. That's not the case with the frogfish fin. My general rule of thumb is if you can see a ripple or something sticking out of the water, go around it. If not, just keep paddling and let frogfish do its thing. And here is my unique find for the day, an old sunken sailboat. Kind of eerie, but fun. Wonder how long it's been here. Okay, now we've reached the upper estuaries. This is where the creeks meet the salt water and where few people go. I'm one of those people. Trees are down across the water, branches to duck under. My goal typically is to paddle as far up as I can go, usually around six inches of water. It's important to time these paddles depending on the wind and the tides. If you want to get up into the estuaries as far as you can possibly get, then watch for the highest tides of the day. If you want to see as much sea creatures, try for the lowest tides of the day. Generally, you can see crab and fish, sea stars, and all kinds of other creatures just a foot beneath you. Some more underwater action. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks very much for watching. Feel free to visit us at frogfishfins.com or subscribe to our channel. Until next time, happy paddling!